Trail X here. I am in Port Allegan at McGregor Point today. We'll be going for a walk to about the yurt section in the campground and then heading back to the car. So I'll take you along on my journey. All right, so we're just on our way to the campground area. Uh, to the right, it's a picnic area. This way, it actually goes to another beach. That's my other son, Emerson. And of course, Avery here too. Yeah, uh, when we get to the campground, as I said, kind of in the beginning, um, there's several yurts there. I think 16. I'll have to get back to that. <laughs> um, on their websites online, so you can also check that out. Uh, the yurts are very hard to get, though, through the summer and winter, just because it's always booked. <laughs> and we did stay there a few times uh, last year and the year before, and they're really nice. <laughs> We actually really enjoyed our stay here when we did. Today we're just up here for the day. So we'll be heading back to Waterloo. And we are actually on a road, but again, it's closed for the winter. All right, so this is where we came from, and we are <laughs> we're taking this trail over here, which is Deer Run Trail. Uh, the one that we just came from is Old Shore Road Trail, which connects to the uh, the one that we're actually just on before. Um, I'll just give you a little background of this park as well. Uh, there are I did mention about the yurts. There are 16 of them. Um, there is also regular camping for like tents, trailers. There is actually also car camping. Um, I've never done it, but I've seen on YouTube and everything else that um, people do camp in their cars here as well. Um, for the campsites, there are three main campgrounds within McGregor Point Provincial Park. There is Nipissing, Algonquin, and Huron. Uh, and within those three, there's like little campgrounds around those three big campgrounds so it's a big park <laughs> um, from what i've seen also there's about seven trails and i'm not sure how many kilometers but pretty far <laughs> maybe about 20 to 25 kilometers perhaps i'll have to get back to you on that one So there is a road to our left over there, but uh, because this park is open all year round, there's uh, several cars on it right now. So I think we're a little safer on the trail with the kids. <laughs> we will go back, or sorry, on the way back, we will show you the, the beach area. Um, obviously you can't really see the beach because of snow, but it's a lovely view of the lake, <laughs> which is Lake Huron in Port Elgin, Ontario. This is actually my favorite spot like all year round. <laughs> and it's only about uh, just over an hour and a half from Waterloo. So probably about two and a half hours from Toronto. 
and we're actually about 40, 45 minutes from Owen Sound as well. And there's Avery. <laughs> Pretending to ski. <laughs> oh. Don't want to track again. <laughs> There's a person. Oh. <laughs> Just letting him pass. Uh. All right. So, to the left, there's actually a little loop trail. It's not very long. It's probably only like maybe a three, four minute walk. But there's actually picnic tables there that you can uh, picnic there. And in the winter, all of this is actually skiing cross-country skiing uh, trail so back to here <laughs> and that's Avery up there <laughs> Alright, so that little loop area, that's the second half of it, and it actually continues right there, and it actually goes towards the yurts as well. Um, it also continues on, but we're not going to go that way. And eventually that would connect with other trails, which um, I think one or two of them connect with the the main beach area for McGregor Point, which actually continues on through the whole park. <laughs> I have done it last summer, and I definitely plan to this summer as well. As uh, if COVID allows, then my family and I are actually having a uh, camp, or, sorry, a trip up here in the summer. So hopefully, hopefully that all works out because <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> Yay! And most of my videos, you might find Avery in a snowbank. <laughs> yep. yep. Oh, you found a little... It's like a base thing. Yeah. Perfect. You found like a little... Uh, all you have to do is build like a roof. You got an igloo. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, here's a parking, parking lot. It is gravel. It's a little muddy right now because of the snow melting. <laughs> And we are probably about less than a half a kilometer to the starting of the yurts. And I'll definitely uh, bring you guys around there. Okay, so we're actually within the Algonquin campground in McGregor Point. And this here is one of the smaller ones within the Algonquin uh, called Birch Boulevard. That is the one with the yurts. And it's a little icy here, so I'm going to take it easy. I do see that it is fully locked. Um, I'm guessing it's due to the lockdown a few weeks ago. It might have not lifted up here. However, you are allowed to walk around there. So we are going to do that. And I do see other footprints. And a uh, one of the trucks went by and they didn't say anything. So... And a lot of people are actually walking here right now. So we'll just take a little walk around the yurts here. hear the ice crunching under. <laughs> Alright, so this first one is actually the uh, like the emergency contact or like the, the person that runs kind of the campground around here. 
So if you need like firewood or help even, <laughs> then uh, you go to this one, number 43, which is like the main, main person. Or the front gate, obviously, as well, which is uh, to the right. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> On their trailer, they have a mural. What is that I see? I think that's an owl. Where are you going? It's beautiful, though. Oh, oh a snowbank, of course. <laughs> Once again, he found another snowbank. So down here is uh, the round, it, like, it's a roundabout with. Uh, campsites for like trailers and tents and stuff uh, number 44 to 57 but we're gonna go on our little loop-de-loop -loop over here I actually remember camping here in the summer and there was a bear up here <laughs> we never saw it luckily but um, I used to go out, like, just walk to the bathroom because in the yurts there are no bathrooms, but there's a public bathroom. And um, I was just like, we're all scared at, like, midnight or three in the morning because you never could see anything, right? Because you're in the middle of a forest. And this is the second half of that uh, round area. I'm just gonna go on the side over here. Yeah. All right, so here is another section of uh, campsites. It's 58 to 74. My mom, actually, let's go that way. My mom, last summer when I stayed here, she stayed in a separate one, um, which was actually right over here. We'll just take a quick look at it. It can't go in, I don't think, but it's all right. So there is actually a vault toilet right there. And then over further, which we'll go there later, is the actual main bathrooms uh, with showers and flush toilets. Oh, this one's ready for Christmas. Like a skating rink here. Yeah, it is. You're right. I'd maybe stay on the side just so you don't slip. Because I'm even slipping over here. It's a little scary. <laughs> just walking. You just gotta tread lightly. Okay. And he fell. Are you okay? Yeah. All right. You don't hurt yourself? No. Alright. If it starts to hurt, just let me know. We'll sit down, okay? So this is actually the one that my mom stayed in. Number 60. It has a gas fireplace as your heat. And um, every yurt has two bunk beds. Uh, the bottom, I think, is queen. And then the top is a twin. Or single. And... Uh, like this is the parking area and it comes with a uh, patio with a roof and it actually has a picnic table and a barbecue we will actually kind of just go up here it doesn't seem to be any tracks so I don't think anybody's here so there's a barbecue picnic table and the ramp locked <laughs> oh, next time <clears throat> yeah, I don't feel like slipping no I just hang on to the railings and there are fire pits and again you can buy the firewood at the front gate or at the first campsite I was talking about you can also bring your own camp firewood but it has to be from this 
um, county. All right, so we are at number 72, the yurt. This is the one that uh, me and my kids stayed in last summer. And there's actually a little secret pathway uh, over there. Let me stay here. That's actually a uh, secret passage, pas passage. pathway <laughs> that we, I used to come through to get to uh, the yurt. Yeah, it's a shortcut. Shortcut. <laughs> And I actually forgot to mention quickly too that um, with the heating, uh, like uh, the newer ones do have the fire, the sorry, the gas fire stove. What is it called? Not fire stove. Fireplace. <laughs> sorry. So fireplace. Um, that's only in the newer ones. The older ones do have heating, and the the heat does work very well. Um, it's electric heat though, and it's kind of loud when it turns on. It actually the first time a few years ago I had one of those. And every time it turned on, I would like wake up. Um, the, the fireplace is actually really quiet, so it's definitely better for that. Um, but yeah, this is number 72. It's the same setup pretty well, other than like the barbecue being on the other side of the patio. So there's your door. I forgot to mention, um, there's definitely no cooking inside, no smoking, and uh, unfortunately no pets. Um, these are actually the windows. They That part does come down and it has a screen for in the summer and it actually also has like a plastic covering for the winter. So yeah, it definitely stays like heated in the winter and it stays cool in the summer with the breeze. And there are lights in there. There is uh, ele uh, electricity, so you're fine there. And a snow shovel. <laughs> I didn't see that before. Uh, your picnic table and the barbecue. The barbecues work really well. They're actually my favorite ones here. Like I wish I had one of these at home. <laughs> uh, so that's like the inside. It's got lots of burners. It actually has a cooking for pots and uh, pans. So that's, that's an added bonus. Should I try to open the door? Yeah, you can try. I think they're all locked. Yeah. Yeah, that's long. Yes. Alright, we'll just leave it. But yeah, I actually have pictures uh, from when we stayed here, so I can actually add them to the video. And I actually have a short video, probably like 10 seconds, 20 seconds maybe, of the camp, or sorry, I keep calling it a campfire stove, <laughs> the fireplace that's inside. So we will definitely add those. And we're back at the, the main loop. So. We will go to the bathrooms next. Yeah. All right, so we're at the main bathrooms. Uh, there are four of these main pathways that go to them on each like quarter of the circle. It's actually like placed on a circle kind of. And there are like mini footpaths just in between these larger trails. So you can definitely like access it from any direction around here. It's definitely very convenient. <laughs> Especially at three in the morning. <laughs> So I think that part right there is just for like a lawnmower or snowplow in this case. It's not usually actually there. But yeah, here is the building. So I just heard something turn on, like a dryer or heat, but maybe it's just because they have to leave the so the pipes don't freeze. So this one, this door, is actually a laundry. Um, yeah, it has like, I think one dryer, one washer. Uh, this is one shower. And here is your bear. Black bear in the area. Okay. That's, I guess that bear's been wandering around here for about a year, year and a half now. Uh, okay, so this is a woman's. Yeah, it's locked. And then around here should be the showers. I think there's three or four, three. Okay, so there. 
his uh, three showers. It almost looked like the showers are open this year, but hmm, I don't know. Maybe they did in the summer for a bit. And here's Avery. And this is the men's uh, washroom. And again, they have showers. And I think that's actually just for the uh, employees. And there's Emerson. And here's like one of the main trails again. Well, I guess we'll go. Actually, yeah, we'll go on the cement trail back. So this is actually like the main, the main, main one. The other ones are like side trails, but like they're bigger. And then there's actually like foot, uh, foot paths. So we'll go back this way to the main uh, circle. I just call it a roundabout. <laughs> And we're actually gonna go this way but I'm gonna pause the video just because we've already been down here with the camera so, see you in a bit <laughs> all right so we are back at the gate which is right there in the main road and we're just heading back to the car now but uh do you hear that what? it's the sound of nothing it's so quiet here I love it <laughs> You can't even hear like the road or anything. It's so peaceful. Other than that, water. And the wind. I don't know if that's the water or the wind, but it's very peaceful. Emmy doesn't like it. <laughs> but yeah, it's even quieter on the trails. It's great. All right, so we're back at the, the big parking lot there. Um, this is Cedar Lane, if you go to the left. Uh, that's, again, one of the smaller campgrounds within the big campground of Algonquin in McGregor Point. <laughs> so we're actually going to try to go that way if it's not too icy. Uh, just because there's the uh, walking trail, hiking trail. And it was a little treacherous the other way. <laughs> so we're going to try out this trail here. So there is that skating rink, which again, it's actually a road, a loop road, but in the winter it's a skating rink. So we are, oh, well, I guess we're going back on the main trail. <laughs> no hiking allowed, only skiing. <laughs> So it's like a bunch of trees with one root that just kind of split out of the ground. Oh. So we're back on the main road area, uh, kind of by the beach going towards the car. Uh, yeah. So it's like kind of hard to walk here because I keep like sinking into the snow. I feel like a drunken sailor. <laughs> It is beautiful still though because you have the sun on the trees, kind of like shining off the trees, it's really nice and still definitely quiet, <laughs> so, really beautiful. You got cedar trees over here, more cedar trees over there, uh, definitely some maple and um, silver birch trees. Definitely, I haven't seen any pine trees yet. Oh, there's one kind of like hiding right there on there. It's not many though. It's definitely mostly like cedar. Oh 
drive. <sighs> All right, uh, we're back at Old Shore Road Trail. And if you look straight ahead, right, right there <laughs> is the water, the lake, Lake Huron. Uh, we are going to go right to it. Uh, try to. <laughs> I know there's like banks of ice and snow, so we're not going to go on that because it definitely would not be fun to fall through. So just stay where the sand would normally be. And it is really windy here, so sorry if you guys can't hear me. Woo! I almost fell, sorry. slipping this time. Oh, there's actually like camping over here too. Uh, there's also a bathroom over, we actually walked past it, so. Yeah. It's uh, back further though, it's not like, well you can get to it, you just park like right there. It's like halfway through the park, kind of before the second gatehouse. The first one, oh, that's I can mention that. The, there's two gatehouses. Uh, in the summer, they run the further one. And in the winter, they uh, run out of the, the first one. So if you ever come up here in the winter, in summer, you'll kind of notice that they use two different gatehouses, which I actually didn't know that the first time. And I was waiting for somebody to come. So, somebody else actually told me that you have to go about a kilometer or two down. <laughs> and there's Emerson. Mr. Shy Guy. <laughs> and my mom and Avery. Well, there's a good view. It's actually kind of pretty icy here actually, so I am going to come off of here and then I'll do the exit video when I get to the car. Look at those skies! Beautiful! Hi! Bye! Bye. Bye. Alright, uh, we're back at the car now, on the parking lot. So, uh, I guess see you in the next video!